Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to create the gallery app using the horizontal scroll view. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all, you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Here you can provide the name of your application. I'm just giving the name of my application is gallery app underscore uh, gallery app demo. That's it. Here you can uh, choose the language that is Kotlin. Then you can click on the finish. Why I am choosing the horizontal scroll view? Because there are so many benefits of using the horizontal scroll view. In Android, you can add any control in horizontal scroll view. Uh, for example, if you want to put a image, then you can put the image. If you want to put the buttons, then you can put the buttons also and horizontal scroll view contains the directly one uh, control uh, for example if you put the linear layout and in that linear layout if you put the number of controls uh, vertically and horizontally so uh, let's see how to develop the application like gallery application in android first of all you can click on show layout decorations here i am just moving to my design now you can just uh, remove your text view now here in search palette you can search for the control that is horizontal scroll view see this you just need to put this drag and drop right whenever you put the drag and drop over here see here horizontal scroll view with the one direct uh, control that is uh, direct layout that is view that is linear layout is come with this horizontal scroll view then you can click on the infer constraint so that a particular horizontal scroll view will be resides over here by default linear layout have a orientation that is vertical if you want that uh, all the controls in the vertical way then it is fine if you want that all the controls in the horizontal way then make it here horizontal so i'm just making my orientation that is horizontal now here in this linear layout you need to add the controls remember horizontal scroll view contains only one direct view right so i am putting all my images inside the linear layout now here you can go for the image view uh, with the height and width i'm just giving the my image view that is 100 dp width and height is also 100 dp here you can give the id of your image view also but right now see uh, image view is put over here say uh, if you put another image then also it will uh, put over here but i want to copy the images into my drawable folder so i have some images related to fruit and nuts see there are 10 images i'm just copying this images you can paste this inside your project and then in resource here in drawable you can paste your images so i'm just pasting my images <coughs> paste and you can just click on OK. All the images I1, I2, I3, I5, I7, I8, I9, and I10. All the images is copied in my drawable folder. Now here you can give the source of your image. I'm just giving the source of my image. That is Android colon SRC at the red drawable I1. See my image is looked over here, right? This is the way you can define over here. Suppose if you want to uh, copy one more image over here, then you can give here. I'm just giving the ID that is IMG1. Now you can take one more image view and you can paste. For example, I'm just taking one more image view and I'm just giving the name of my image that is IMG2. And here you can just give the I2. Another image will be there. But see, by default, there is no space between the image view right so you can set one uh, property over here that is a margin right in margin right i am just setting that 10 dp is fine you can make it here 20 dp also so i am just giving the margin between the two image view then you can just copy your image view you can give the same uh, margin right inside your another image view also once you put both the image view now you can just copy this particular image view and you can just change the name of you, your image view and you can give the another image view right one by one you can copy here all the image view i am just copying all the image view i am g4 and the uh, image is i4 here you can copy one more image view i am g5 
and here image is i5 here you can set img6 and image is i6 image is i7 and here in drawable i7 you can uh, read your images from the external storage also right so if you, uh, you have the Im external image resource then you can directly bind that particular resource also i am right now binding all the images inside my drawable folder img9 here you can just give the reference img9 here you can give the img10 and the in drawable you can just pass the i10 now what i can see all the images is available over here but you cannot see right now why because oh, in horizontal scroll view by default scroll is there so you can scroll it whenever you execute your application so let me execute this my application whenever you execute this application see here you can see that see scroll view is coming see you can scroll your images this is the way you can uh, put all the images over here suppose if you want that i want all this images in a vertical way so you just need to switch your orientation of the linear layout here instead of horizontal you can make it vertical see your orientation will be vertical and you you will be switch into vertical scroll view right so you just need to pass your orientation once you part pass the orientation now it's a time to define the one image view whenever user interact with this particular image i want to enlarge that particular image in another image view right so i'm just taking one more image view that is not inside the horizontal scroll view you can declare that particular image view outside the horizontal scroll view that is inside the constraint layout so i'm just declaring one more image view width is now 350 dp and height is 350 dp once you define the height and width of your image view you can give the id i'm just giving the id is this is my image view now you can click on uh, infer constraint if it is required but before that i want to just arrange this particular image view once you arrange this image view see this image view is moved inside my linear layout i don't want it in my linear layout most important thing is what here in linear layout width is wrap content but height is not wrap content you just need to set the linear layout height that is wrap content once linear layout height is set with the wrap content now you can easily move your image view anywhere i'm just moving my this particular image view over here and then you can click on infer constraint this image view will be set right now whenever user click on that particular image view i want to set the image over here but by default i want to set some image so here you can go for the src and in drawable you can uh, set the launcher background image right whenever user click on image one i want to set that particular image one into my this image view so you can write the code for this very simple whenever user click on img1 you can just call img1 this is the id of image view img1 whenever user click on img1 dot set on click listener whenever user click on image one i want to set the image view image view dot set image resource r dot drawable dot i1 the same way you can write the code for every image not only image you can put the button also i'm just taking one image view two image view third image view fourth image view fifth image view sixth image view seventh image view eighth image view ninth image view and tenth image view whenever user click on that particular image view i want to set the respective image inside my image view this is the way you can do this here you need to put i8 this is i7 this is i6 this is i5 here you can put i4 this is the image view number three this is the image view number two 
and this is already a uh, image view number one you can check see whenever your application is execute over here you can check that all the image you are there but you can click on any image and that particular image will be reflected over here in my this image view this is the way you can set your images inside your image view this is the one kind of gallery application right but some people says that i want the border over here in this particular image view so suppose if you want to set the border inside the image view very simple you need to set a three properties the first property you can set you can go for the padding i'm just go, go for the padding that is 5 dp so what i can see my this image you having the padding of 5 dp all over right then you can set one more property that is background in here i am just setting the background that is has 0 0 0 it means it is a black color you can just check see my black border is coming inside the image view what happened you can just execute your application and you can check see whenever you execute this application you can just check but see uh, definitely this uh, background launcher having a border but if you click on this any particular image see what happened this image having the border but it shows the background why because the image view having not the it is not set into the fit and xy so you need to set one more property and that is a scale type here you can set fit xy it means the image will be stretched to every x and y up to 5 dp space so whenever you click on any image see now all the image is come with particular border right this is the way you can set the image view with the border and you can click on any image that particular image is come over here not only this some people says that uh, may i put a uh, one more control inside this horizontal scroll view accept the image view yes you can suppose if you want to put the button over here then you can put the button also i'm just giving the button width that is 100 dp but height of the button is 50 dp and i want to put the button id also you can put i'm just putting the id of button is my this is button one here you can set the text i'm just setting the text that is click me here you can set the background of your button i'm just uh, giving the background of my button that is color primary dark you can set the text color of your button i'm just setting the ff f then it will be white then you can just check your application is this button is coming inside your this horizontal scroll view if it is yes then you can uh, write the code for that particular button also see this click me button is coming over here right you can set the gravity also you can set the gravity that is layout gravity center and then you can just check see it is working fine or not if you set the layout gravity it means what your control will be in center and if you set the gravity property it means your content will be in center whenever user click on this particular click me button i want to put the toast over here you click on this click me button right so you can just write the code for that particular button also here you can write the code button dot set on click listener and you can uh, pass the message toast dot make text in application context here you can just you click the button you can just pass the message that is you clicked button then you can set the toast dot length underscore long dot you can call the so so not only image view you can put the button also whenever user interact with particular control you can write the code for that particular button also uh, not only button you can put any uh, image view and whenever user click on that particular button the message is coming over here see you click the button so this is the way you can develop your own application for gallery using the horizontal scroll view using horizontal scroll view you can enable the scroll of vertical also this is the way you can implement that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all